and gentlemen, this is the time that we've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the models from the house of Sophia, Sophia Gloves, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on. This is something else. Sweet tea, yeah, baby. Rock it, baby. Rock it, baby. Yes, this is creativity, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Sophia Gloves, ladies and gentlemen. This is another creativity. Creativity, yeah, creativity, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, another one. This is another creation. This is Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have it for her. Come on. Come on. This is good. Let me show
But I didn't have a heart to wake you. You were sleeping just like a baby. You looked so innocent. You should have woken me now. You know, uh -huh. I have a meeting with the manager of Montana, too. I'm seeing him there tonight. tonight. Sweet, I'll have to cancel that one. At least you were well paid for singing at yesterday's function. Huh? Let us stay at home today. Spend the whole day in bed. Mm -hmm. As tempting as that sounds, you know we can. We need all the money we can get now until your business picks up. Sweetheart, my business will pick up sooner than you know. And you'll never have to sing in clubs or any other function. But I enjoy singing. I know. But I don't like the way men look at you anytime you mount the stage to sing. I'll get back on my feet. And you won't have to handle any microphone again. Huh? You'll be loved and pampered the way you were meant to be. I don't know how those stupid men duped mm -hmm. me and... No, enough. Enough of this self-pity, okay? What has happened has happened. We can't change the situation. Let's just be thankful that God has blessed me with the talent. At least I can help in putting food on the table. Besides, I enjoy singing and I'm even considering taking it seriously. You don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Let's not even go there, okay? Because we're not going to discuss it. Okay. But please, let me just go and do this show. Okay, the money is too good to pass up. Remember, we need a new car. Why, why, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why, why is it... Why would God allow my wife be the one to bring bread to the house? Don't, 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 why don't talk like this now, eh? This is only for a while. If we don't go through things like this, we won't be strengthened. This is just preparing us for greater storms ahead that we will eventually face anyway. The most important thing is that we love each other. It doesn't matter who brings food to the table or who doesn't. Whatever did I do to deserve you? We deserve each other. God sent me to you. And he sent you to me to love and cherish. I love you. I love you too. Time to eat. <clears throat> now see what I did. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, baby. Breakfast in bed. Yeah, breakfast in bed. Right. So start with this. Library. Right. Library?
What are you his wife for? Um, look, I'm not going to argue with you. We've been through it before. And I've begged him. I've talked to him. But he says no. He has bluntly refused. <sighs> what kid is this for letting you do this? Well, a beautiful woman like you is supposed to be pampered and, and, and adored and worshipped. You know? Not let loose in the world like this. Huh? Yeah, your sweet tongue, Phil. No wonder all the women flock around you like bees. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll talk to him again, but when I get home, I'll, I'll... You do that. But I need to go. I'm really tired. And, and you need to go, because I'm sure that all your women are waiting for you and they're impatient. Oh. Well, um, they can wait. Hmm? Mm. You mean the world to me. I mean to us, my brother and I. Yeah? <laughs> Come on, walk with me. Hmm? So how much did you get paid for this? Um, if you drop the subject, I have told you I will not entertain any discussion on this matter ever again. But your says, I don't see anything wrong in letting your brother help you. It's your elder brother we're talking about here, not an outsider. So what's your problem? My problem is you don't know when to back off. Phil has been helping me since I was a little boy. Isn't it about time I learned to face my own responsibilities? I will make it again. Without Phil's help, without your help, without any damn help from anybody for that matter. Honey. This your macho stuff will not get you anywhere. Whether you believe it or not, we all need each other's help sometimes. And if your wealthy brother wants to help you get back on your feet again, I don't see why you shouldn't let him do it. You're really getting me mad. Evie, I'm gonna ask you once again to please drop the subject. Always says, please listen. Drop the bloody subject! What's the matter with you this morning? Have you gone nuts? I told you I don't want any discussion on this matter again. I was not in support of your singing. But since you insist, fine. If you are tired of it, stop. Nobody built this house for me. I did it. I didn't need any family's help. And I'm going to do it again. With family or without family. see you again I'm just for me for me listen to me I'm just saying I don't like women that cling on me okay have some self-respect and I, I, hey 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 okay it's not your business who I'm gonna be with all right I'm getting off the <laughs> hey yes me baby what's going on <laughs> oh I'm 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 good no, no, I, 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 I can see you at two. No, yes, I, I, I'll see you say about eight, okay? Yes, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey, Angelica, baby, what's going on? No, no, I'm still coming. I'll, <coughs> I'll see, I'll see you at two. You know, just, just keep it warm, okay? <coughs> keep it. No, I'm nothing. I'm, I'm cool. <coughs> I'll call you back. I'll call you. <coughs> Hello? Fool me. <coughs> don't, don't call me. I will call you. <coughs> Wait, man. Give them a year. They want to take <coughs> the whole.
Ew. Mm. Why are you looking so gloomy? Phil. <coughs> I want you. You don't allow things to deteriorate before coming to see a doctor. <coughs> you must be coming for you usually a, a normal checkup all the time. Your health is not something you joke with, okay? I just haven't had this kind of experience before. Come on, take it easy. It's, it's no problem. I'll, I'll take care of everything. <coughs> yeah, as soon as the results out of the test comes out, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, meanwhile, I'll, I'll, I'll give some drugs that will ease, uh, help ease the condition in the chest, okay? But please, but feel this continued smoking place. Those fancy cigarettes of yours, just continue taking them. It's injurious to your health. No more taking them, please, Phil. Do you understand me? You'll be alright, okay? You don't have to worry. I'll take care of everything now. I believe so, my sister. I believe it. There's going to be a revival in this land after that meeting. Yes. That is what we need in this village. So that all these wishes will disappear. I heard that Ma Amaka was attacked by a strange that lasted throughout the night. And people have already started saying it's a mother in law who is known everywhere as the witch. Ife Yungwa, why are you so worried about witches? I have told you that their powers can never be above the children of God. Eh? Look, we are bought by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So no principalities, no powers. The next day we laid hands on her. All the strange diseases and sicknesses disappeared. Hallelujah. Ah. Hey, what about uh, Obi and Mr. Tanyasas? Have you heard from them? Yes, my dear. They are fine, though. It's just that my eldest son, Obi, has refused to settle down. But I still believe God. He will do it for me. Um, what of uh, Obi's wife? Is she pregnant yet? I don't know. The last time I spoke with uh, Obi, he didn't say so. So I don't know. But I still believe God. My Bible tells me that. None shall be barren amongst us. And none of my children will be barren in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Our God has never failed us. And he will never fail us. Never. Yes. All you need to do is let them get closer to God. That's all. I'm doing my best, my sister. I have put everything into the hands of God.
Adoption is not an option. Then what is our option? What is it? I'm frustrated. You, you're just killing me. You're the one that doesn't have a job. You're the one that doesn't want to take help from anybody. You're, you're killing everybody. You're the one who is being protected. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why the sudden loss of concentration? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm truly sorry. I think we should take a break. I can't, I can't concentrate anymore. Please. What do you mean you can't concentrate? Do you know what we stand to lose if we do not perform on Saturday? I know, I know, but the truth of the matter is that I can't do this right now, okay? Let's, let's do it tomorrow. The guys what's aren't what's even what's here. The, the band is not even complete. They're not here. So let's just... What, what do you mean let's do it tomorrow? That's what you said yesterday. Today you're saying the same thing again. What's all this now? Are you the only one that has problems? Everybody has problems. Yeah. You have to put your problems aside so that we can forge ahead. We can't mess up the show. We can't. Let's start again. Okay, let's, let's start again. <laughs> Look, Chichi. You can't flog a dead horse. There's nothing we can do to bring her out of this mood. You know what I think we should do? 
Let's do this tomorrow. No, guys, I'm sorry. At, at this rate, I hope they show hold on Saturday. So please, pull yourself together so that we can get busy. Well, hold, I'm sorry, okay? I promise you tomorrow it'll be better, okay? Please. It's okay. These things still happen. But you see, whatever it is, please, pull yourself together and let's get done with this thing, okay? The show for Saturday is good. Don't let's miss it. Okay, Please. fine. We won't miss it, but we'll do it, all right? I promise you tomorrow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know what? Let me buy you a drink, okay? No, no, no. no. Thank you. Six months to live? Are you sure you heard the doctors, right? I'm afraid I did. We had to do the test over and over again and after a series of tests, they all confirmed the same thing. It's then black and white. Cancer of the lungs also confirmed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we going to do now? I don't know, my sis. I'm still too shocked. Uh, the doctors insist though that I must check in tomorrow. What? To continue the treatment. Oh, oh my God. Hospital oh, tomorrow. God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. No, no, no. How is Mama going to take this? How is Mama going to take this? Look. Voices. Voices, please. Don't, don't. You can't afford to break down now. Alright? I need your strength. In six months, I'm out of here. And the leadership of this family rests square on your shoulders. Stop saying this! I'm on my way out. You are my brother! I cannot let you go! You can't die! You can't! Don't tell Mama anything yet. If you don't believe in miracles, I still do. What's the matter with you guys? Why are you behaving like you're in a mortuary? 
Life is beautiful. And I've had a good life. Yes, yes, Philip, I agree with you. Life is beautiful. And every moment of it must be celebrated. And that's why we brought lots of stuff for you, okay? We have, we have fruits, we have wine, we have lots of things. But you know I can't eat much because doctors are just... Okay, then we'll, we'll wait for you to, to get well, get up from here, leave this hospital and come back home, okay? You, you, will, you will get well and you will come out of here. Baby. I wish I had your faith, but unfortunately I don't. So I'm just gonna stay here and die. And, uh, hey, hey, do you know what I would love to wear when I die? I would love to wear a white tuxedo, you know? Uh, white for oh, just, just shoes. Stop, please. So, uh, I have to tell him to come to terms with the reality on the ground. Okay. I've lived my life. And I have absolutely no regrets. Oops. I do have one regret. I'm gonna miss you again. You are by far the most important thing that happened to me, uh, to us, my brother and I, my family. Well, promise me one thing, that you take care of my brother. Stop, stop it. You will love Stop him. it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to listen to this anymore, I refuse. I refuse to be drawn into this pessimism by both of you. Philip, you will get well. You will get well, you will walk out of this hospital and you will come back home alive. You will get well, so stop talking rubbish! Because you will come back. Okay. Listen, as for always, I'm going to take care of him because he's the love of my life. But you will come back home. You will get well and come back home. Do you hear me? Okay. Hey. Some CDs for you, for you to watch, okay? This one is um, Promise Me Forever. And you're going to promise me that you will be alive to watch it again and again. This is it, you. You're going to watch. Um. Ah, Mrs. Osondo. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Um. I don't think you've ever stayed. Okay. I know. I, I, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. It's all right. It's okay. But please, um, take care of him for me, for us. Oh, he's in the best of hands. You do not have to be perturbed, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. I think you need some rest now. Eh? Bye. Thank you. Yeah, Phil, mm. how are you today? Um, how are you, sir? I'm very confused. Let's uh, get, get this injection. Okay. But you should be eating more, man. You, you're doing amazing as well. Right. Mm. Uh, my chest is uh, clearing up a little bit. That's the way it is right now. What do you mean you won't be able to sing that issue? Do you realize the implication of what you're saying? I know. Listen, I know you guys can handle the show alone. I'm having serious problems right now. I, I can't face an audience. I can't. Look, we are a team, Evie. Yes. We can't just stand there singing without exactly. you. Manager is not going to find this funny. How can you cancel at the last minute? Please now, you guys, just, just plead with him for me. You, you know what I'm going through. I'm emotionally drained. My brother-in-law lies dying in the hospital, and it's, it's making my husband go mad. Coupled with the fact that I cannot have a child. I mean, how can I be singing 
with all these on my mind. Listen, when all these blows are over, I promise you guys that we will definitely sing together again. Okay? I wonder when that will be, Evie. Look, you better sit up. What is it? Everyday problems. Uh -uh. Problems left, right, center, Evie. I'm tired, please. I'm tired of all this, okay? If your husband and his people are giving you problems, keep them aside and let's forge ahead. We can't, we can't get to, to the top at this rate now. How about Gigi? How insensitive can you get? I mean, is everything about stardom to you? Of course. What else is there to think of? Look, whether you guys like it or not, this babe is out to take the war by storm. So it will be in both of your interests to follow my footsteps. Girls, we need to rehearse. We cannot get to the top at this rate, okay? We need to rehearse. Miss Eva, I'm tired of all the use of problems every day. Uh -uh. The other day you said we we're going to rehearse. Now again, you're changing it. Chi Chi. Look, I am not part of this, okay? I am not part of this. Chi Chi. Call me when you're ready. Chi Chi. <laughs> Look, don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Believe me. I pray so. I really hope so, you know, because there is a very thin line between sanity and insanity. And believe me, Angel, I'm hovering between that line right now. God forbid. <coughs> You're a strong woman, Ivy. And that strength will carry you through. Just believe in God. God will help you. Okay? Okay, Harry. Yeah. Okay? Everything will be fine.
Se io ogni dì I do have one little regret though. I wish I had a child. I regret that too. Especially as I may never be able to have a child of my own. I have thought about nothing else but that. Ever since I found myself in this situation. You go now and... And I go. It will mean the family name will be completely wiped out. <clears throat> they did. Are you sure none of your many women got pregnant for you? <clears throat> they did. But I always made sure they had the children aborted or they went through abortion. I wish I had kept some of those pregnancies, man. I wish I did. God. Hmm. What is it? Hmm? Yeah. Just had an idea. Maybe we can do something about this. Something? Yeah. Maybe. If he can carry my child for you. I I don't understand. Yeah. I can get if he pregnant. That way she can carry the child. Have the child for you. And when she does have the child, people will think that it is yours. And I'll be dead anyway. Are you referring to IVF or artificial insemination? Um, no. I still have some little strength in me. I think that those IVF things uh, they take too long. Maybe I can still do it the natural way. And then when she has the child, it will be between you. If you herself and myself and not even mama will know. Everything will be done behind closed doors. I don't believe I am hearing this. Sorry, sorry. My, my, my thoughts was elsewhere. I was... What were you saying? Honey, please now. I'm begging in the name of God. Take it easy. 
worrying about this thing won't do us any good, please. Listen, sometimes there are some circumstances that we can't do anything about. That's how life is. The good and the bad, the sweet and the sour. Let's just take it easy and calm down, okay? And let's, let's just eat so at least we can see feel on our way if, if we want No, you can go ahead. I'm, I'm not going. Why? Okay, you want to go and see him later on your own? No. I just don't feel like seeing him right now. What is this? We promised him. Hey, okay, look, I just said you can go. I'm not going. to use euthanasia. What's that? Mercy killing. Because if you did, I will not blame Oasis for getting angry. Oh my God, yeah. What wonderful imagination you have. Why would I want to kill myself any other necessary? I intend to enjoy the rest of my days. Okay. Like I said, I only, only made a suggestion to you. What is this suggestion that is, is getting him so worked up? What? I think you should still ask him. He's in a better position to tell you. No, I will ask you because you are the one that made the suggestion. Ask him. It concerns you as well. For goodness sake, Evie, I've told you I don't want to talk about it. This is between Phil and I. No, it's not. He says it concerns me, so I have a right to know. So why the hell don't you ask him? Why ask me? I refuse to be distracted by that statement. I want to know what you and Phil discussed that concerns me. Okay. Phil says he wants to sleep with you so he can have a baby for us. Hey, what did you say? That's exactly what Phil said. So what says thou, dear wife? Are you game for this very noble gesture from your brother in law? I don't believe Phil would dare to insult me like this. And all you could do was to walk out on him. You, you couldn't slap his dead exactly mouth. Exactly what I wanted to do. But the guy was lying helplessly there in bed. How, what could I have done? Could I have done that? <sighs> my own brother, my own brother.
Oasis. I'm glad that you can at least now see the sense in what I've been suggesting. I'm glad. The question is, how do I convince Evie to go along with this? Oh, it's easy. She loves you. She's, she's your wife. She will do anything for you. So go home and create the right atmosphere, the right mood, and, and pop the question. It sounds so simple, Phil. But it's not. I'm still trying to come to terms with, with you and my wife. God. Oasis. We have something to do, and we need to do it with immediate effect. You have to detach your emotions from this whole thing. That is how I'm seeing it, you know, clinically. You think I will turn around and now desire your wife? After all these years, with all the women I have? This is not for lack of women. It's for the family name. You can't do it. I can. Besides, I'm dying anyway. But, but we can try IVF. The doctor says that it will be too long. It will take too long. You know, it will still take more than three or so times before it can click. Oh, it's just the natural way is still the best way. You know, when, when if we get the timing right and the ovaries and everything is where they're supposed to be and all that, it will work. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to her tonight. Okay. But if she refuses, let me talk to her. Alright? What if she agrees? What do we do then? Oh, I uh, have told the doctors that I want to die in the comfort of my own home. So they are, they are going to discharge me soon, although it's against their own medical advice. But hey, I can afford it. They will send a nurse and a doctor to check on me regularly at home. Everything is going to be okay. I'm tired. Help me walk back to my room. Yeah. Okay. Celebrating? Oasis, I'm not joking. What's this about? Okay. I have given the thought to Phil's proposal. And I think the idea is worth trying. And you set this whole thing up to convince me, right? Oh, listen, please. Just just listen, Ivy. Okay. Just think about this carefully, all right? My brother is going to die. And when he does, 
there will be no one to carry on the family name. Alright? I can't father a child. He can. If he dies and I die, no one will be there to carry on the family tree. Now this is the perfect plan. You carry my brother's child in your womb and deliver it as mine. Okay? No one needs to know except the three of us. This little secret is just gonna be between us. And when he dies, everyone is happy. <laughs> Clap for yourselves. I mean, no, I must congratulate you guys on such ingenuity. Why can't I even think of it myself? Hmm? The perfect plan that will make everyone happy. Wow. You know what I mean? The best film of the year. And we can title it The Perfect Plan. But you seem to forget one vital issue. That the lead actress in this whole fiasco is a human being with feelings, not a baby making machine. What do you people think before? A sacrificial lamb that will provide the ultimate solutions to everyone's misery? Am I some trophy that you and your brother can pass around anytime you want? What the hell are you thinking? Baby, calm down, calm down, please, please. You're getting this whole thing wrong, okay? Listen, I, I wasn't just thinking about, about the family alone. I was thinking about you. Listen, I'm, I'm giving you, us, an opportunity to get what you've always wanted most in the whole world, baby. And that's a baby, baby. A baby. Alright? This is, this is madness. Total madness. Oasis open now, Sondu. You disgust me! Ivy, Ivy! Ivy! Baby! Ivy! Sweetie, sweetie, please! Sweetie, on the... I told you it was a bad idea from the start. Now she's not even talking to me. Oasis. Relax. Let's let this whole thing sink in first. You didn't expect she would just jump at the idea? No. Why did you expect her to react so violently? Right now I just think she hates my guts. She doesn't. See it. Don't worry. She will come round. Um okay. Tell her I want to see her. Oh, forget it. She won't come. Alright. Shall we ignore a dying man's wish? Hmm?
No reply? No. I told you. No. Do you can I have some juice as well? Thank you. Assuming our plan succeeds, hope he's not gonna be a problem. No, I'll take care of it. What would you like to take? Nothing. Okay, you are welcome. you for agreeing to come to see me. I have missed seeing you. Phil, I'm surprised at you. I am here because I feel bad about your situation. Not because I want to listen to any more of your absurd suggestions. If you really so absurd about wanting to bring a life into this world, and me wanting to give you that life. Who are you to talk about giving life? Are you God? I am not God, but I may have been sent by him. Look at your situation. If you, your, your husband is sterile, you you have always want, wanted a child. I am about to give you that child. And, and, and that's what you've always desired. Stop your it. husband can't do it for you. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I refuse to stand here and listen to this blasphemy. I may have been
very hard about it and I agree that the idea does have some merit so so I'll do it. <laughs> Baby, are you sure? So are you sure that's what you want to do? Baby, are you sure? Are you sure that's what you want to do? Isn't that what you want? No, no, sweetie. Sweetie, it's not about what I want. What we want. We both want it, so I'll do it. You don't have to do this. Listen, my evolution is in two weeks. So I'll give you a probable date and you just make the arrangements with Phil and tell me time and place. Oh, baby. Baby, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Sweetie, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. And that's why I'm doing this. Because I can't live without you. But baby, please promise me one thing. That this is between you and I. Yes. It's between you and I. You know... You know my brother Philip will... Mm. It's okay. Mm. I love you, baby. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, baby. Um. One whole weekend? You want my wife to come and spend a whole weekend with you? One night may not be enough. No, oh, it has to be. It has to be. For goodness sake! Do you know what it took me to allow her to spend one night with you in the first place? One whole night! Jesus! Must be going crazy here. Stop stop looking at it like that. Alright, just pretend that I'm I'm a doctor trying to treat your wife. So easy for you to say. Your emotions are not involved here. So you can afford to look at it clinically. But I can't feel I can't. It's one night or nothing else. Okay. Oh, is this? Suppose she does not get pregnant in one night. It's a chance we just have to take. We just have to take it. Don't worry, we'll get the timing right. Okay. You let me know about the time and day and everything and I'll be here. I'll, I'll be ready. Voices. Voices. Listen, everything is going to be all right. Everything will work out just fine. Trust me on this. I really hope so, Phil. I really do hope we know what we are doing. you dress like this? It's a simple dress. It's too revealing. Go change it. There's nothing revealing about this dress. Besides, it's, it's going to see beyond the dress anyway. Look, I just want to go and get this thing over and done with. Let me just go. So you want me to take the fatted calf to the slaughterhouse? 
Isn't it bad enough that I know that the calf is going to be slaughtered tonight? Honey, please. You know, I don't have to go. If you don't want me to go, I won't just, go. Just go. Go. You can go. Checks that need signing tonight that you're bringing, and all my mails that you need to bring tonight. Don't bother to bring them. Hold on to them until tomorrow. Sir, I don't. You did not say, sir. Hold on, sir. Hmm? Everything is okay. Yes, right? sir. Okay, you can go. All right, sir. Um, don't lock the door. Just close it. All right, sir. So, uh -huh. so all my mails and checks that I need to sign, just bring all of them tomorrow morning, okay? Send me everything from the office tomorrow. Alright. All right. Hmm. I thought you changed your mind. No. My God, you look beautiful. Phil, please, there's, there's no need for compliments. Let's just um, get down to it. Um, but, um, I made dinner. We're not planning a courtship here. No, this is a, a prelude to an affair. We're here for a reason, so l let's just do it, please. Okay, please. okay. Come on, sit. Philip, I didn't come here for that, please. If you please. Please. Sit down. I know how difficult this is for you. But believe me when I say that this is also very difficult for me. I... But it, it, it is the, the best option under the circumstances. And like I told your husband, Everybody goes home happy. So, just focus. Just focus on, on the end result. That's, and, 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 and loosen up. Okay. Um. Just, just relax. I'm not going to bite you. Okay, um, can we get it over and done with now? Very well then.
wasn't so bad, was it? If you're fishing for compliments, then I'm sorry. I can't help you. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, I can understand that. But let's not start behaving like we just committed murder. On the contrary, we, we just might have created a life. Please, just... about the whole thing. There's no way I'm gonna let you do it. No way. A minute too late. No oh, well, you should have thought of that before you cooked up this crazy and stupid plan. I told you, let's go for an adoption. You refused. Now that the result is here, you can't face it. Well, I am sorry to disappoint you, Oasis. This baby is here to stay. Mm -hmm. 